guys, so today I filmed a Mardi Gras makeup and it's basically a chit chat get ready with me and it's this dramatic crazy look so you can kind of see what it looks like. I just did some really intense gold on the lid, green on the lower lash line and purple on the crease and then these crazy purple gold lips that I really love. So if y'all are interested in seeing how I did this makeup then you're in the right place and just keep on watching. I'm coming to y'all barefaced today to do a Mardi Gras makeup tutorial. I just kind of noticed that there weren't that many on YouTube and I'm going to Mardi Gras this year. I'm getting ready to go to a few parades tonight so I just figured I would have you guys get ready with me. See what I would do for a Mardi Gras look. The first thing that I'm going to start off with is this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This is the pink one and this just has like a really great smell. I just love, it's like eucalyptus-y. And it just relaxes me, so I'm going to put that all over my face. Excuse my lips, they're stained from the lipstick I was wearing earlier today, so oh well. At least they look pink. I am going to just put some foundation on. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation. This is the shade Fair Clair. I'm just going to kind of squeeze it onto my face. It kind of comes out like that. It blends really well, but the squeezy tube area is a little bit too big. And then I'm going to use my Real Techniques complexion sponge to blend it all in. This is my first Mardi Gras, so I'm kind of excited. Going to be going to parades on a couple different days. If you see me looking off to the side, I'm just looking in the mirror to make sure I blend everything in. Also, this is dampened. This is really dampened. You cannot use this dry. It'll just absorb all your makeup. <laughs> you want to use a damp. It gives you the best finish to the skin with this foundation and with all foundations. Generally, you do want to use it damp. And I'm going to skip concealer for now and go ahead and do the eyes because I feel like I'm going to have quite a bit of fallout. To prime, I'm going to be using Max Paint Pot and Painterly. This is just going to give us a good base for everything that's going on the eyes. <sighs> I hate that MAC isn't cruelty free. I will not ever repurchase this. I think I got this on eBay anyway, so it's like not purchasing from a cruelty free. But still, it was made and it wasn't cruelty free when it was made. I will not be repurchasing once I run out, unfortunately. <laughs> I think I'm definitely going to be using this Urban Decay Electric Palette. Mine is like literally falling apart, just like all the rest of my makeup, but it's this one and I'll just show you what colors I'm going to be using. Take the freaking lid off since it's broken away. I'm going to take the lighter purple for now and blend that into the crease. I'm going to use this. This is the blender brush, double-sided brush from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, and I'm going to dip that in there and blend it into the crease. That is so pretty. That pigment life. <laughs> I love this palette. If you're new to makeup, you will learn quickly that it takes a while to blend. And the key to getting the great eye look is just blending forever and ever and ever. So I'm just putting that really loosely in the crease. This is just kind of a base. I'm going to put something on the brow bone to kind of bring that color down a little bit because I know it's coming up really high there. And just... It's okay if it's messy because we haven't put concealer on yet, so we can kind of fix all this with concealer. And now I think I'm going to take that deeper purple, and this is more of a Mardi Gras color. This is called Urban, so it looks like that, and it's just like a really deep purple. It does have like small sparkles in it. You can't really see it when you put the eyeshadow on. Um, it's mostly matte, and I'm going to use just a pencil brush. I'm going to concentrate that in the crease. If you can hear things in the background, that's just my roommate doing noisy things, but I still wanted to film this, so I was like, hmm. Oh well. Just applying this as if I were doing a cut crease almost. Just as very thin as possible with this brush. Bringing it all the way down over here. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. We'll go back and blend later. Kind of applying it right under the brow bone. So if you like feel in there where your brow bone is, you're kind of gonna stick the brush in there and apply it just like that. Oh. Yes. I'm just going to begin to blend super lightly, not trying to move too much product at once, just get a little bit of a diffused look going on. I might bring this down in create a V shape, I don't know yet. Okay, I think I'm going to leave the crease for a little bit and move on to the lid. So I'm going to use a bright sparkly gold, sparkly, <laughs> sparkly gold on the lid and I think first I'm going to lay down 
lay down just a regular shadow and then I'll put the glitter over it. You can just use any really shimmery gold eyeshadow that you have. I'm trying to get a foil look so I'm going to foil it with this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and just you spray it on the brush and then apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and see that. Well this thing is old. Can we do it? Huh. JK, I'm not using that. <laughs> I'm using my Dewy Finish, NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray to foil this, so. Oh, much better. I'm taking this gold right here, this guy. So that one, I'm just gonna pick up some of that and put it all over the lid. And you can just see how pigmented that is. Like, it's just foiled so beautifully. Love it. And just try to be neat when you apply it. This is definitely like a Mardi Gras gold for show. And just take your time getting that to a really pigmented look. I'm gonna leave the inner corner alone and just apply that to the lid for now. Foil once more. And I'm just doing that sort of motion right there just to make it like a really cut crease effect. I think I'm gonna go back and do a little bit of blending in the crease and just Diffuse it just a little more. If you want, you can pick back up some of that lighter purple color and just blend it in. If you have larger eyelids than me, that might be an option to help blend you out. Because if I pick up any more of that purple, it'll just be like all the way to the brow. Okay, I think next I'm gonna bring in some green to the lower lash line to really just tie the whole look together. So first I'm gonna take a deep uh, shimmery forest green and I'm taking it on the brush that comes in the Urban Decay Electric Palette It's just got this little tip that goes really well for under my eyes But this is a really deep forest green and I'm gonna take that right on the outer corner of my under eye with a little tiny brush Just a little tiny tiny brush And then Weird faces. I'm just putting that on the very outer corner and I'm gonna do more like a gradient green effect going inward because I don't want to just have a ton of green because it won't complement the smokiness of the look as much. And then next I have these two green colors, Freak and Thrash. So I'm gonna take Freak, which is the deeper green in the Naked palette, and I'm gonna bring that, I'm gonna blend it into the outer part and bring it inward a little bit. So do like the middle third of your eye with this. Oh yeah, that's cool. I'm not bringing it too far inward because I'm not putting green on the inner corner. I'm gonna bring it just about there. So all of this is gonna be green, but it's gonna be a gradient effect. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with Thrash, which has some sparkles in it. It is like a neon green type of color. It's that one right there. I go in with that and bring it in the inner third of the lower lash line. So my camera just stopped recording. That's okay though. All I did was apply this LA Color Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow with brush. So I just, this is a gold and I just applied this over the gold that we already laid down. Um, and then I started to do my eyeliner on this side and I used my Physician's Formula Pencil Liner Thingy, whatever it is, cream. And I'm just doing that. I think I'm going to do quite a thick eyeliner for this look. Quite dramatic. I just find this kind of easier to apply to apply straight away um, than liquid liner, which is what I will go over this with. Um, but I find that it's just a little bit easier to lay this down first. When the line turns out way thicker than you expect it to be. It's chill because it's dramatic anyway. <laughs> I might fuck it up. That's basically how I do my wing. I just make little strokes. This side always fucks me up. Oh god. I don't know how even that is, but I do my best. I'm not perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go over that with a liquid liner. This is my NYC liquid liner. It's totally worn off. Just looks like black, but it's NYC. And it just, it dries matte, so it's super great. This is my favorite drugstore eyeliner so far. Hmm. 
moment of truth because I always fuck this wing up. <laughs> I'm just taking that deep green color and going over the lower lash line again. Go attach it a little bit to your wing and then it kind of just makes it like a super smoky eye. I think I'm going to use a white eyeliner right on the inner corner. Yeah, this is just like a random fantasy makers. Oh, it's Wet n Wild, Enchanting Body Crayon. I'm using it on my eye. <laughs> I never knew it was body crayon, so. Just trying to get all the black because for some reason when I apply eyeliner, it just like black just immediately transfers to my inner corners, which is literally the worst place to have that really dark color. That's why I'm going in with the white in the inner corner. And this also serves as a great base for us to apply really light gold for the inner corner to make things pop, so that'll be a great base. So now, before I do mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some concealer. Okay, so first I'm gonna cancel my dark circles and I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. It's called Natural, and it looks like that. I'm gonna apply a generous amount of that under the eyes. I'm gonna go into my, you don't have to do this, but I have really dark in inner corner areas, so I'm gonna go ahead and Go in there because it just looks like death right now. Also over that I'm gonna do my hard candy concealer and just apply a little little droplet, a little pea size, even smaller than that. I like to put that in the area that's right over the darkest part because that will give me the most coverage. I'm going to take this darker shade of the hard candy glamouflage concealer from Walmart and I'm gonna put it on the redness on my nose, all over my pimple, and then anywhere else I need concealer. If you have a highlight routine, you can go ahead and do it here. This is kind of what I do. I don't like a ton of concealer on the nose, so I just leave that one blank. Oh, by the way, this is my Real Techniques sponge again. Damn, that I used to blend in my foundation. I'm trying to get right under the eyeshadow without disturbing it, but if need be, we can always go back and reapply. And you can see here, I'm not really rubbing, I'm patting. Because that'll give you the most coverage with this stuff. And then with the Hard Candy Glamifage, I always immediately set it. So I am going to set it. I'm going to bake a little bit. So I'm going to use some excess powder on there. Brush from Wet n Wild. This is the flat top brush. I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette. And this is the one in Dolce de Leche. Isn't that giving me a super concentrated look? I'm gonna try something with a little bit more dense. Oh, that one's nice. That sets it really well. Oh, I like this brush. This is my first time using this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I do have oily skin, so I do have to set my powder quite a bit, especially for a night out. So I'm gonna apply a generous amount. Doesn't look cakey, not too cakey or anything, just so I don't get oily, because I don't bring powder with me. And this concealer is super creamy because it has great coverage, so it's pretty thick and creamy. So you just gotta be careful about setting it. You gotta set it. You can't just leave it because it'll look weird. Next, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with my e.l.f. eyelash curler. Be careful about this. And then I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is my favorite. It's very like thick and creamy, so I mean god, just look at the difference that makes. That's crazy between this one. And carefully apply to the lower lash line. I have to be really careful about this because my lower lashes are super long and they can just look crazy sometimes. I know I went really dramatic with the lashes and a little clumpy, but that's only because I'm going to apply eyelashes. Okay, so I'm going to apply these eyelashes that I doubled up. They are the Wispies doubled up with a pair of half lashes. And yeah, so those are pretty dramatic. You can see on the outer corner they kind of get winged out, which is what I really like with a look like this. So I'm just taking my Andrea... Brush on strip lash eyelash adhesive. Just applying that to the lash band in sort of a thick layer because I want this to stay on all night. I 
What I like to do is just put a layer of liquid liner over the lash band so it doesn't like look stand out from the other liner. Just apply that right to the lash band. And then while that dries, I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, I'm just getting the lash into the eyelash curler and those two, my natural lashes and the falsies together. Okay, let's move on to the face. For contour, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Rose Gold Brush in 301. This is the black contour brush. This middle color from the NYX Contour Palette. I'm just dipping the very corner of the brush into there. And so I'm just taking the very corner and just making a line, basically. Okay. And that's all I really do. I don't add any more than that. Sometimes I'll blend it out with this brush, but I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush to blend it out this time. And this is the Real Techniques 300, and this is the blush brush. And so I'm just blending out the top. What I'm going to use is this Milani baked blush in luminoso this is like a peachy color but it really just gives a really good um sheen to the skin and what i've been doing recently with blush is kind of a new technique that i tried is putting it right on the apples because before i would try to blend it into my contour putting it right on the apples of my cheeks and then blending it really well so it's not too dramatic because i don't want to look like a baby doll <laughs> you know what i mean I'm gonna smile i hate smiling if you put too much, you can always go back and uh, blend it. I just blend it with the other side of the brush. And then I go in with my my regular Real Techniques blush brush and blend her in real well. And next, I'm going to go in with highlighter. I'm going to foil it, so let's see. I'm going to take my e.l.f. fan brush. I'm going to take Mary Luminizer um, Highlight. This is by The Balm. And I'm just going in there. Going in there all the way. God. And just go on the top of the cheekbones. I love this stuff. Highlight, yes. I'm gonna add a lot of highlight because that's what I prefer, but do whatever works for you. And I just keep applying it until I look like a disco ball, basically. Now I'm going down the strip of my nose. I'm only doing it once or twice just to get a little bit of glow and I'm glad on the cupid's bow. I just realized my camera is sitting literally on top of the lipstick. Okay, so moving on to the lips, I'm gonna apply I'm gonna apply chapstick. And then you can blot off the excess. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a nice purple lip. Just taking a small brush and lining my lips with a deep purple color. Hey guys, I'm back. I had to basically charge my camera because it was dying because this is a long video. I went and got food, so that's chill. That's good, I got that. Okay, so I finished off on the lips. I just basically started lining my lips with a purple lip color. This is a really deep purple. I swear to God, if it weren't for copyright infringement, like half of these videos would just be me singing. <laughs> As you can see, I'm making it a bit thicker in the outer corner. I'm kind of making it thin to kind of give the lip a more pouty look. I'm using the Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick. And I'm going to go over that with the lipstick. And then I'm going to go in with a lighter purple and blend that in. Okay, so I feel like that's pretty good, and then what I'm going to do for like a final touch, this is optional, but I'm going to go in with the gold glitter and put it just right around the inner corner of the mouth. Just, I think I'll just really finish off the look, so I'm just using the brush that came with the LA Color Shimmering Loose. And just to blend it in, I'm just smacking my lips together a little bit. If you want, you can put a gloss over that just to kind of send it all together. I'm just reapplying until I'm happy with the pigmentation of the gold. Oh yeah, I love that. 
I really love the way that this turned out and if you try it please tag me in it okay I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one